Hey, get up! You freaking oh. lazy piece of crap! Hey, 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 how's it going? <laughs> how's it going? What are you doing? Oh, me? Uh, I'm uh, playing, playing some Xbox. <laughs> playing some Xbox? You just Se reached 7 million subscribers. Se 7 million? 7 million? I didn't stutter. Idiot. Yeah, uh, 7 million. Well, What are you freaking looking at? Get up! You, you gotta yell at me? I don't... Get the freak up. Make a cooking with Kenshin. Okay. Yeah. Cooking with Kenshin. Get up, you bum. 7 million. Alright, come on. Let's, let's do it. Come on. Living by myself is, well, still hard. Being unable to cook makes it even harder. We've made some progress, however, we still got a lot to go. The journey to become the best chef continues. My name is Corey Kenshin, and welcome to Cooking with Kenshin. Let me ask you a question. What are we gonna make with our supplies? What are we, what are we gonna cook with no groceries, huh? Look, look at this. Popcorn, peanut butter, what y'all trying to eat? Peanut butter, popcorn? We have to go to the store first. All right, as you can see, we are at the best grocery store of all time, Meyer. Yes. Sorry, future, but mask on. <laughs> it's quarantine time. Let's go. Six feet apart. You hear me? So I figure since we had 7 million, we should celebrate. We'll have ourselves a 7 here. Light up balloons. <laughs> Let's get a ball. So some of these. Yeah. Now that we got our fresh ingredients, we could go home, make a nice little home cooked meat. Get a McDonald's, how are you? Hey, can I get a number 9? Number nine large. Number six with extra dip. Your total is thirteen seventy-five. First one down. All right. Hey. All right. Now that we're back from the store with our fresh ingredients, I didn't get McDonald's, guys. I didn't. We could go ahead and get to cooking. We just hit seven million subscribers. I've been seeing it in the comments. Corey X Cooking. Where's the next cooking with Kenshin? Here it is. I want to take a second and put you guys' Instagram stories right here on the screen. Yesterday, I was on Instagram, at CoreyXKenshin. Go ahead and follow me. I appreciate it. And there were so many people wishing me congratulations for reaching 7 million samurai. And as I'm scrolling and I'm, and I'm reading every single one of these, I'm thinking to myself, how far have we come? From recording Geometry Dash, living in my parents living room to here i am now completely self-sufficient with my own house and my parents proud ever since i was a kid hold on ever since i was a kid this is this is what i've done play video games look at that computer right there and look at my buzz lightyear backpack your boy was killing it i can tell you exactly what i was playing street fighter 2 on my super nintendo that i got for christmas playing video games is it's my passion and thanks to youtube i've been able to make a livelihood from this and to be able to put this little piece of me that will forever live on the internet long after i'm gone is is priceless it's um it's like documenting. <laughs> it's, it's documenting the, the journey. But I don't want to wax poetic too early. We got cooking to do. And before that, boy needs to take a shower. Now, some people have asked me, Corey, how do I too become a master chef? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jimmy, the first fundamental step to anything is you can do anything that you put your mind to. <laughs> hey, Bobby, I might want to put that one on a t-shirt, huh? huh? Bobby? Huh? Okay, then. Well. Like Daniel son, boy, what is you doing? Slow it down. Take a breath. Hey, girl, I like your left. Cheat that is on your butt. Let's take it slow. Show your boy some love. Yeah. Uh. Now we done with this. Some of y'all like, yo, what the freak is this? To my non-black viewers, 
I can't be washing my hair every single time I get in the shower. Nice little plastic cap. You can find these at your local beauty supply. Get you a pack of 100 for like $2.99, all right? Now with that being said, a chef, I cannot be looking this raggedy. So uh, one, a two, and uh, ugh. All right, jump cut magic, let's get it. Dang, hold up, my bathroom lighting looks kinda good. This for all the fan editors out there, all right? Hit y'all with a candy, like. <laughs> okay. Cause you know, they be eating that stuff up. An another candy, like. Oh, brother. Hold on, let me get an aerial, let me get an aerial. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, six minutes into the video, it is time to welcome the Samurai Shogun himself, Chef Kinshin! All right, look at this kitchen. Dishes all over the place. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f Let me teach y'all something. You wanna be a master chef? Never cook in a dirty kitchen. Let's do these dishes. All right, now that the kitchen is speak in Spain, we are ready to don our chef outfit. So go ahead, close your eyes, no peeking. I said close them. You can still see me, I'm not stupid. All right, here we go. All right, go ahead and open them. So today on Cooking with Kenshin, I thought I'd do one of my most favorite struggle meals. What is a struggle meal, you ask? Oh, my privileged friend, let me explain. Struggle meal, a cheap meal or snack bought at the store usually eaten by broke college students or broke people in general. Examples include ramen, chips and dip, and microwavable meals. Now, I told y'all before, I might have 7 million subscribers, but I still got that broke boy mentality. You ain't nothing but a broke boy, boy, boy. Those hungry man dinners, banquet meals, and even pizza rolls. There's always going to be that one part of me that's a cheapskate. Never underestimate how many meals you can eat with $5. And yet we got people out here spending $5 for a Starbucks drink caramel macchiato frappe large. Let me get a grande espresso with the extra cream. $6.99 for a drink. So one of my most favorite struggle meals to make is spaghetti with garlic bread. You make yourself a good pot of spaghetti and you eating off that for three days, trust me. Now, the ingredients for spaghetti are very simple, which is why it's a struggle meal. Beef, noodles, and prego, or ragu, or whatever tomato sauce you choose. Whoa, 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 stop right there. Did you wash your hands, mister? <laughs> oh, Jimmy. What did I tell you about not washing your hands? Who wash your freaking hands, you nasty? We touching on clean food with your dirty freaking hands. All right, so the first step is we need to fill a nice sized pot with some water. Now that we got the water on the stove, we're just gonna add a little bit of salt 
in order to expedite the boiling process. Sprinkle on a little side of it. Hey, there we go. Vsauce, Michael here. So for the next step, we need to brown our beef. So this is the ground beef that I get. Um, I don't like it too much fat, but not too lean as well. It's somewhere right in the middle. What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead, open the packaging up, like so. Uh, all right. Oh, oh, you guys smell that? It smells like beef. I smell like beef. We're gonna dump it here, and now we have beef. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one who loves this sound. Yes. So now that we're done playing with raw ground beef, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the pan on high heat. So now that we got our, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, so now that we got our meat, oh my gosh. All right, maybe not on high. This is, this is, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on low heat. Uh, yeah, maybe not ball up your ground beef as well. Okay, so now that things have calmed down, we got our beef. It's browning at a reasonable rate. You wanna go ahead, add a little salt and pepper just to season the beef, you know? A little bit of pepper. Ah. Can I get a Frank West yeah in the chat one time? Yeah. yeah. Still gonna finish that game, by the way. This water is taking forever to boil. Meanwhile, my freaking beef is almost browned. So, uh, when you're making your spaghetti, you might want to line up the timing such that your beef isn't brown even before your noodles get into the pot. Good news, guys. Our water has finally come to a boil. Look at that water boiling. Ooh, ooh, look, fogging me up. Back up. So now you're gonna take your spaghetti noodles. I prefer angel hair, but get any kind you like. I like a thin, manageable spaghetti. If it's just me, I pour out the noodles, all right? Then I take half, and I put it right back in. Oh, oh look at you trying to sneak out. I'ma eat it. And before I put them in a the pot, I break them in half. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and get our garlic bread started. <laughs> and hello to you, oven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not going to lie to y'all. There are few things in this world that smell better than garlic bread. Ah. Uh -huh. We're gonna come over here, grab your noodle drainer, and then put it in the sink. Grab your noodles and pour. Whoa. There you go. Almost there, guys. We got our noodles. Now we're gonna put them back in the pot. Now that our noodles are back in the pot, you wanna grab your sauce. Now me, I use this Prego traditional, very simple. I am very plain Jane, okay? Some people do pepper, some people do tomato paste, tomato sauce, they make their own sauce. Me, oh reliable right here. We're gonna turn our heat back on and get that sauce to a nice warm temperature. Next to last but not least, we're gonna take our garlic bread and put it in the oven. Five minutes, flip, five more minutes. Be careful, it's very hot. So I've been called weird for this before, so don't judge for what I'm about to say, but the last ingredient that I love to add to my spaghetti, sugar. Ever since I was a kid, all right, my mom put sugar in the spaghetti. Now growing up, I'm only eating meals cooked by my mom. So that's not weird. Then I grew up, you know, continued to add sugar in my spaghetti and various people have called me weird. Don't knock it till you try it, mister. Adding some sugar to your spaghetti, you're gonna be like.
ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you spaghetti with garlic bread. guys this is it the spaghetti with garlic bread is now finished Mwah, magnifica let me say my grace and we shall feast mmm <laughs> exquisite Take that and then get a bite of garlic bread. Oh. All right, you guys. Just finished eating, and that spaghetti was. Somebody touch my spaghetti. Thank you for joining me on another cooking with Kinchin. But wait, wait, wait! Before you go. <laughs> hey, can you guys see me? Probably not because I'm black, but we're gonna get this thing going. Happy Seven Mill Samurai. Happy Seven Mill Samurai. Turn it off. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let me make my wish, guys. Hold on. Look at that, guys. I got some cards. Okay, so the first card is a seven. Go ahead and open that up. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, you guys shouldn't have. Congratulations on reaching a whole new level of amazing. Sheesh, freaking insane, bro. Keep going. Well, thank you guys. Let's go on to the next card. So for the next one, we have an M. Congrats on your promotion. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like a promotion. We moved from six mil to seven. You have a great opportunity because of all you've done and because the incredible person you are. Oh, stop, oh, stop. Seven million. See how many zeros that is? Freaking beast. That is freaking beast. And I totally didn't write these cards to myself. Let's go on to the next one. And this one is an exclamation point. And if we were Mexican, this one is an exclamation point. This is your moment. Now is your time to shine and be celebrated. So happy for you. Congrats. Oh, baby, it's time. You remember that? How could I forget? We worked so hard. We worked so hard, you two. We worked so hard. Oh, baby, it's time. Oh, baby, it's time. Oh, baby, it's time. Oh, baby, it's time. Three mil to go, boy. That's right, you guys. Three more million until we get ten million and get that diamond play button i guess now is as good as time as any when we reach 10 million if we reach 10 million i will be announcing my retirement from youtube that's right guys but no need to worry that's a long ways from now and we might not even hit it but if we do i'll be announcing my retirement with that being said I want to say thank you guys so much for 7 million samurai. When I first started this, and I know, cue the cliche YouTuber speech. When I first started, I never thought I would get to 1 million, let alone 7. And like I was saying earlier, it's so hard to relay this feeling of accomplishment that you guys bestow upon me every time we reach one of these freaking milestones. We've been getting around 10,000 subscribers a day. Now, I try my best not to pay attention to the numbers. I like to just do me, play my games, you know, and if more people are finding me, that's awesome. But that's not why I do what I do. I upload these videos to number one, hopefully make your day better. I don't know what the freak is going on in your life. I don't know if you just got broken up with. I don't know if your parents just got divorced 
or you lost a friend or your dog died or any of the above. All I know is you're watching this video right now. And throughout all of the hijinks that I do in my videos, being silly, sometimes we have our serious moments. Right now is a semi-serious moment. My overall goal is that after you're done watching my video, you don't feel so bad. At least as bad as you did before the video started. And if the video didn't get you in a better mood, guess what? I have over 1,500 other videos, and maybe one of those videos will get you in a better mood. If my videos help to brighten your day even just a little bit, then praise God, mission accomplished. I did what I came here to do. Along the way, we've gotten such a huge audience that you guys have made it such that I can take care of myself. Not only take care of myself, take care of my family take care of my friends, take care of, you guys don't even know how many lives that I've been able to touch thanks to you guys. And thank you to my father, God, for blessing me with such an amazing, loyal, and wonderful community. A community so stout, so tough, so, so <laughs> resilient. Put up with me leaving on and on and over and over and over again up to nine months count them nine if you have an audience that will wait nine months <laughs> we ain't talking about nine days here we ain't talking about nine weeks you know as youtubers out there scared to take a day off because they feel like their audience might leave. The feeling that I have knowing that I can take time off for myself, time off to just be with my family, time off to just deal with personal things that I don't get into on camera. It's invaluable. It's priceless. And it's... And it's the samurai. Guys, it is 4.43 in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep so I can wake up and edit all of this. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to s -s -s samurai slice that like button on that seven, mil seven million likes on this video. Subscribe today to join the samurai. And until next time, my brothers and sisters. Cause my name is Kari Kinchin. Perfect. Whew. Finally. Done with all of that work.